What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Blotra tutorial. Today we are going over high card builds. Why are they so powerful? Why you should be playing them at higher stakes? And more importantly, how to play them. So first let's tackle those first two questions. Why are high card builds so powerful? Well, it is the most reliable hand to get in Bellatra or in poker in general, right? You will always have high card available to you. So if you can scale that and utilize jokers, planet cards, and the works to play high card consistently to win your run, you never have to worry about the RNG of your hand. You will always have high card available to you. Now, why is this so powerful at high stakes? Well, it's very hard to get the correct hand. It's very hard to get flush five builds or flush builds working on gold stake when you have limited discards, limited hands to play, you have limited economy available to you. So, I mean, while that sounds amazing to be able to play high card consistently, you know, obviously the lowest score in hand, you have to upgrade it to, to win a run. How do you do that? So first I'm gonna go over the three key elements, I think, to a high card build. And then we're gonna run through a run together trying to play those elements. So the three elements are, and they all have to do with chokers. First of all, you need additive molt jokers and you need scaling additive molt jokers and let's tackle one thing i did not give these type of jokers enough credit in my tier list and the type of jokers we're talking about are things like supernova which gives you a molt per time you've played that hand so supernova if i played 40 high card hands so far it's giving me plus 40 molt ride the bus which it gives me plus one molt for every hand i played where a face card doesn't score uh, we're talking green joker which gives me plus molt for every time I play a hand and minus molt every time I discard. Well, in a high card build, you really do not have a reason to ever discard. All of these are fantastic because they scale extremely well with high card and you play lots of hands. Next, what you're gonna need is some base chips. And this can come from a blue joker, obviously I think the god card when it comes to high card builds, especially just winning a run would be Stuntman because you don't need a big hand size and Stuntman minuses your hand size by two, but adds 300 chips. You will take those 300 chips all day because again, you don't need the hand size, but it can be other jokers like blue joker, like banner, because banner gives you chips for every remaining discard. And again, you don't need to discard. So now you have your scaling molt that's gonna help you as you continue the run. You have your additive chips that are gonna help you kind of balance that out and, and get you a decent score. What's the last piece? Well, you need one or two things giving you that multiplicative molt to really push you over the end, especially at the highest stakes in the last couple of AMTs. You need a little bit of X molt. Now this can be pretty simple. I think one really good card would be Campfire. And the reason is when you're playing high card, you usually have a bit of an economy going. You know, between the additive molt and the chips, that's gonna get you far and it's gonna win rounds pretty quickly. You're able to have a bit of an economy. You add campfire, you're able to add a few cards, sell them, and all of a sudden you have your times four molt for anti seven, times five molt for anti eight, and you're all good. So the, it, it's very simple. You need to get your molt, get your base molt, get your chips, and then times that molt to scale a little bit higher at the end. Obviously, some great things on a high card build would be game like telescope voucher and then just leveling up. Pl high card via pluto a ton uh space joker um if, if you've been joining my streams me and space joker are currently dating it's canon um, but it can be a fantastic joker for you and then obviously economy jokers just to give you that extra money to get what you want and i'll admit a lot of what i'm teaching here i've learned from other players blotro university uh even mouth uh, SPAV, who I watch on Twitch sometimes, Blenos Bears played high card builds, but so many creators have really shown me that high card builds are a valid strategy in this game. And probably most importantly, Blotcher University. His videos of breaking down things and going into the nitty gritty has made me realize, you know, duh, high card bu builds are just a very good way to go in almost all occasions. While I was playing them prior to Blotcher University kind of really explained it to me, I'm playing it even more now. So link in the description of Blotcher University if you're not currently uh, viewing his content, you absolutely should. So with that in mind, let's jump into a run together. I'm gonna play on a fresh profile. I will be playing on lower stakes just to make the video not super long, but we can always come back and do a gold stake run or you know, there will be videos in the future on the let's play at higher stakes where you will very clearly see this concept demonstrate on gold stake and you can just take my word for it 
it works there just as well as it works, you know, in white stake. Now, it's not guaranteed you win at higher stakes, but not every run feels winnable at higher stakes, especially in the current meta. We have a patch coming out. All right, enough rambling. Let's jump into it. So we're going to jump into this high card build. Hopefully we're going to play on yellow deck on white stake difficulty. Just picking yellow deck because we're going to have a little bit more of an economy to hopefully grab the jokers we need to make this work. Now the key is, you know, first blind on small blind, I'm not going to be playing high card. I'm going to go ahead and play this full house. And, you know, you still play your big hands. We just need a few more points to get out of here. But you can't play high card without jokers, without scaling Pluto a little bit. So you're not going to be doing it right away. And right away, we get one of the jokers we absolutely want with a high card build, Supernova. Now we're going to have to play hard card, high card just a bit to help scale it. Um, gift card joker is absolutely great here because it's going to increase the value of all my jokers which will make temperances more worth it i'm thinking about grabbing this overstock but i think i'm gonna wait i don't think i'm gonna pop this arcana pack and we're gonna go in the next round so normally i'm just gonna play a flush right here and i still might but i what i might do is throw a couple high cards out here to add to supernova to get it scaling but Especially when you're playing on the lower stake difficulty, you don't necessarily need to do that. But I'm going to do it a couple just to emphasize, you know, the point here of going for a high card build. Then we'll play this flush. Get a little bit of extra molt. We're out of here. And everything's worth a little bit more money because of gift card. So again, Supernova adds the number of times poker and has been played to molt. Gift card is adding $1 of sell value to every joker and consumable card at the end of the round. Burglar. This is a fantastic joker for a high card build. Now, granted, if you have things that rely on discards like a banner, which banner gives you 40 chips for every discard remaining, it's not fantastic. But in general, it gives you more hands to play high card. Also, it's going to give you more money because you'll have more hands remaining at the end of the round. You get a dollar for every hand remaining. Another one that can be okay, you don't absolutely need it, is this stone card joker because adding stone cards is definitely not a bad thing when playing high card. And I think I will add it and we'll move on to the next round. So as you'll see, we'll lose our discards. We now have seven hands. We have a stone card in here and uh, we have four spades. So I'm gonna play this, move up that high card, play this again, move up that high card. And when we get the flush, we'll just play it to try and get out of here. But we're feeling good. We got the jokers we really needed. And um, we're already scaling Supernova to a pretty solid place. And again, I'm on a fresh profile, so I don't have every joker unlocked. And you'll probably see some being unlocked as we play along. But that's all well and good. A hangman, we don't really need for a high card build because we're not reliant on any specific card. No Pluto here, so we're just going to go with the next easiest uh, hand to grab which there was Venus with three of a kind because probably not gonna be playing too many flushes not too many four of a kinds We're in a good spot right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to the next round So here you might be able to see a little bit easier the power of high card We're gonna get some extra chips there We have pretty solid molt and that one high card got us half the score we need in this small blind Which is pretty fantastic Really what we're looking for now is a little bit more chips and like we mentioned in the video, a tad bit of x -Molt, and this should be able to scale fantastically. So we're going to get all that money. We have a couple of packs. We will open up the Celestial just to see if we can get it. We can't. We'll grab Uranus, which gives us a better two pair. And uh, we're just going to let our money sit. We'll collect interest. We're not really in any worry of losing at this point at worst we could always play a flush and that's why i'm kind of leaving it there and right here we do get that flush so i will play it just to get us a little bit closer to that 1200 and then we will oh we have four clubs so i'll play the hearts and diamonds to play high card then we get this flush but first i'll play this high card with a stone card and that was enough. So now we have a good amount of economy. 
we can probably afford to open up this arcana and celestial um nothing too great here i will add bonus to this just to get some chips we're getting some decent molt from supernova we'll open up this jumbo and there we go that's pluto that's the one we want to see we want to scale that higher card we will go next round extra large blind is <laughs> definitely not your friend when playing a high card build but we can play this flush we can play this oh i accidentally played a pair that was not smart <laughs> That's something you have to watch out for. Sometimes you accidentally play a hand you don't want to. So we're just going to play this king with the bonus. We're going to play this eight with the bonus. Ugh. Are we going to get there? We got three hands. They each were scoring about 800. Granted, they did have bonuses on them. Hopefully we can get a stone card out, which will help us quite a bit. We didn't. We're going to play it here. And hopefully we get it here. We did. We cleared it. We're feeling good <laughs> by the skin of our teeth. But Burglar did help. We have Supernova in a really good place. I would say now is probably the time that we really need to search um, for that good Joker. Right there, I just used Wheel, which allows us to get a chance at an addition for our Jokers. But we didn't hit it. I am going to grab the telescope voucher for those packs. And, you know, we just have the extra large blind. We don't have to worry too much. I'm going to grab, grab Golden Joker. Because we only need to hit 2800. I think that's very doable. And right here we have two chips plus a bonus eight. We're going to see this one go pretty crazy. Yeah, <laughs> we almost one shot it right there. So we're feeling good when we get those stone cards out. Okay, so... Free reroll in the shop. We know these are two free Plutos because of Telescope Voucher. And each one of these is giving us a molt and 10 chips. So for $4, definitely not the worst deal in the world. Uh, I think I feel comfortable going to the next round. Especially with these stone cards. We know that they're worth around 2700 3100 when we do them. Now, when we don't get them, it's, it's not the best thing. But it's still a thousand points. So five hands remaining. Golden Joker. We're getting a lot of money. I mean, it, it feels good. Grab this Celestial. Again, we'll upgrade that Pluto. We now have it all the way up to 45 by 5. <laughs> a seance that has foil. Interesting. Uh, but not that interesting. I think I'm going to stay away from that for now. We're going to play, you know, this right here, get the stone card, get the ace. We're about halfway there. We'll play these three. And then we'll play these. And we see Supernova is giving us 22 molt already because we played 22 high cards. So, really, again, we're missing our chip joker right now. And we're, we don't have an X molt joker yet. But at the same time, you know, we're in a pretty good spot nonetheless we'll grab that pluto again we have telescope voucher and if i didn't explain telescope uh make sure that the highest played hand so for us high card appears in every single celestial pack so we will always get a pluto in our packs unless of course we started playing something else that overtook that i'm gonna go ahead and as crazy as it sounds i think i'm just gonna make another stone card they're so valuable with our high card build that I really don't mind it. We will go ahead and re-roll. Not great. We'll save our money. We have to get to 6,000. Very doable, again. Especially when we have stone cards in our hand. We're already halfway there. And we have that level 6 high card. So if we're kind of cruising. We're kind of cruising. Now, of course, these scores are going to scale what's required rapidly. Um, so we want to get a Joker and banana is the type of Joker that would feel pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and sell the golden Joker at this point Add a banana. So that's 15 molt, but more importantly, important, <laughs> importantly, importantly with gross Michelle is when it goes extinct, because as a one in four chance of going extinct, it allows Cavendish to possibly appear in shops. 
what Cavendish gives us is times three molt. That's the type of X molt Joker that would be fantastic for us. So we're actually kind of hoping Gross Michelle does go extinct so we can reroll the shop a couple times and maybe get a Cavendish. In the meantime, I'm going to continue leveling up our high card, each one adding the 10 chips. So with two Celestial packs, we're adding 20 chips, which yes, we want a Joker that adds chips, but if we don't get it, it's not the worst option to have uh, two packs to choose from down here. We move on. We're up to 9,000. So again, the scaling's starting to get there. But Gro Gross Michelle should help out quite a bit. We're about halfway already. Even Oh, the eight thing get played. Again, you have to be a little bit careful with what you're selecting um, in high card builds because obviously the highest card is going to be the one being scored. Jumbo Arcana. So I see this. Let's think through the thought process. I already have quite a few stone cards. I don't hate making another one, but it's not really needed. Uh, a Justice, you know, times two, Molt, but before our Jokers is not that great. So, because if I Glass card this, it gives times two Molt. But the problem is, is it times is two and then goes to our Jokers. So we times this number by two. So we get eight Molt from that Glass. And then we plus 15. And then we plus... 27 molt so it'd be great if we got times two at the end but on the card it's not that helpful in a high card build priestess we could get a pluto but it's not super highly likely hangman isn't really needed because why do we de need to delete cards the only reason would be to get more of our stone cards out i'm actually gonna wheel of fortune because 50 chips 10 molt or times 1.5 molt all three would be pretty nice ideally it's not on my marble joker because i'm not going to keep it for that much longer or my gift card but if it is, it is, and we get a polychrome supernova. That is extraordinarily lucky to the point where <laughs> I almost wish it didn't happen for the purpose of the video, but it did, and we're going to roll with it. This is fantastic for us. So now, really, it's adding, you know, uh, was that, 40 molt, you know, plus whatever we have in front of it. Because it's going to add this molt, and then it's going to also times it by 1.5. We get the Pluto. And we are absolutely sitting pretty at this point. So we're going to play the 10, the 2, and this stone card. Get lots of chips. Get lots of molt. And at this point, we're kind of one-shotting even with just a high card. And again, the 5 extra hands that Burglar's giving us is going to give us a ton of economy. We got another Polychrome. This time in the form of the Diamond Joker. We don't really need this in any way uh the 1.5 is nice but i don't even think i'm gonna take it waste some money there um right here what could help us a gold card when it hurt just to give us a little bit more economy and in fact i am gonna do that so we're just gonna keep that queen in hand when we play to give us a three three extra dollars what a gold card does is gives you three dollars at the end of the round if it's in your hand when the round is completed uh we will Make these two aces bonus, which gives you an extra 30 chips when they're played. Close to a uh, stone card. We'll re-roll here. Yeah, we'll grab that. And we'll continue. So, we'll play this king. Five, you know, three. No stone card, but we're still making 10,000 points. Uh, a little ridiculous. I'll go ahead and make these two bonuses. You know, we'll play this. So I think the concepts hopefully being demonstrated in this run, how good high card can be and how easy it is to play if you can put the run together because there's no thought process really here on the hand. Like there's a little bit, obviously don't accidentally play a pair, realize that only the highest card's gonna score, but it's very reliable and that's the beauty of it. You're, you're just not stressing out. I'm not gonna waste my stone cards actually because we do have the boss blind. And as I, as I pointed out in my how to win a Bellatro game, very importantly, read the boss line. This debuffs all cards previously played, and I don't want to debuff these stone cards for my boss line. So we're going to have no problem. We probably could and still be okay with how many points we're scoring, but you never want to risk it. All right, Space Joker. So I think I feel comfortable at this point getting rid of gift card. I mean, Burglar's worth 15, Supernova 18. 
marbles worth a ton. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to grab Space Joker. And what Space Joker does is it has a 1 in 4 chance of upgrading the played poker hand. So this basically can upgrade high card one time every four times we play it. Um, so the thing of it is we get a Pluto for every four hands we play. That's pretty solid um, in my opinion. And especially for a high card build where you're playing the hand a ton of times. You're going to be able to level up quite a bit. We're going to reroll once just to see if there's anything nice there. But more importantly, we're going to save our money and build up the economy. So we'll play the Jack and the Stone card. We're at 14,000 points without really having to do much. And again, we haven't even gotten the x Vault Joker that we're looking for. Granted, we're getting times 1.5 from this Polychrome on Supernova, but, you know, we don't have any x Vault up here. We're going to grab this Jumbo Celestial, grab our Pluto, already up to level 12, and can hopefully scale even faster with Space Joker. Refresh. Temperance. Now, this is what Gift Card did for us is it raised the value of all these jokers. So when we finally saw Temperance, which, which gives you the total sell value of all your current jokers, a max of 50, you get that max 50. So now we're at $78. We're absolutely sitting pretty. I'm going to reroll one more time. Actually, two more times. Why not? Because we have the money. At this point, I probably could sell Marble Joker just because we have so many for something like Green Joker. But I just don't even feel the need to do that. We're just going to keep playing. We're going to do this. Play the 10. Space Joker hit. Leveled up our high card to even, you know, new heights. And at this point, we really have enough points to win the game. Even without the X-Mole. And again, we are playing on a white state game so it's not the most complicated thing in the world and this does become a little bit tougher a little bit more min maxi when you get the gold stakes but trust me it does work we just fooled a temperance to give us another 50 dollars the fool of course turns into whatever your last play tarot or planet card was we're going to open the jumbo buffoon just to see what's in here see if there's anything super nice uh we're not discarding so we're not going to take castle because castle you need to discard cards to to build its chips up and then the clown, we don't really need free rerolls, so we're feeling good off of that. We'll open up the spectral, because why not? We're not going to spend $117 on a rare joker, because this would set our money to zero. Uh, but sure, we'll add trance to that king. Wasn't a good spectral pack, but we're really not complaining. We're feeling pretty confident in our run. Now, Baron. Baron and Mime are two cards that are very good for high card builds. Okay. Basically, Baron turns every king into a steal, but you can also steal the king. So you can get times 1.5 from it being steal and times 1.5 from the fact that you have Baron. And then Mime re-triggers all cards in your hand. So that's a really good combo. And we're going to go ahead and grab Baron. We don't really need the Marble Joker at this point. And uh, Baron's just going to give us a little bit more x -Molt, Um from our hand and now that our high cards leveled up to 14 that times 1.5 is actually substantial it's seven molt for every king in our hand so we'll go to the next round and at this point we don't want to play our kings because it's going to give us times 1.5 because of baron and we're one shotting now we're getting 32,000. gross michelle still hasn't gone extinct um it's kind of hoping it would so we'd have a chance at cavendish but that's okay Midas Mask. Now this is another Joker. <laughs> and you can see there's a lot of Jokers that work well with high card. Midas Mask is going to turn all our face cards into gold. Our face cards being gold is fantastic because we don't need to play the face cards. And then the fact that they're set in our hand means that we're going to be getting even more economy. Now our economy is pretty set. But the big thing here is it's foil. It's also giving us 50 extra chips. Um, I think I'm okay replacing Space Joker with Midas Mask to make our face cards gold and get that 50 chips from it being foil. We're also gonna go ahead and grab this Mega Arcana. Nothing super great here. I'll go ahead and make an eight gold. Oh, it's a Mega Arcana. All right, I'll delete these two cards because they're not really needed in our deck. We'll grab this Jumbo Buffoon. Um, having one hand size is helpful for Baron. 
But there's nothing here I want to get rid of, except maybe we could get rid of Gross Michelle at this point. And grab Banner, but we have Burglar, so Banner actually doesn't work. Scratch that. No, I think I'm good off of that Jumbo Buffoon. Ramen is a very good x mall Joker. We're going to go go ahead and sell Gross Michelle. 07's in the chat. 07's in the comment for Gross Michelle. Never went extinct. But Ramen's a perfect x mall Joker for us because we're never discarding. So it's not going to be in a way. It's always going to be times two. Uh, I'll we'll reroll a couple more times just because we have so much money. Uh, and you know what? We're immediately <laughs> going to sell Ramen for driver's license because we have enough enhanced cards in our deck that it's going to trigger driver's license gives us times three molt as long as we have 16 enhanced cards we currently have 23 due to all the stone and other cards and we're gonna get even more from midas mask so now we're going to continue and really right here we're going to be struggling from success um every hand we play is probably going to one shot so we're not going to get a ton of opportunity to min max our hand with money and whatnot and we're probably just going to fly through the rest of this game paintbrush that's even better especially with baron now it just feels silly we have a very good run going we're going to go ahead and you know we'll aura this king we came foil we're going to open a buffoon pack just in case we get something crazy we did not reroll Oh my gosh, and we got Baron, or uh, got Blueprint. This feels silly. We'll get rid of Minus Mask. Blueprint copies the ability of the Joker to its right. We basically now have two driver's license, and the game, for all intents and purposes, is over. <laughs> We're going to do this to build up a few more... Oh, a few more gold cards, I forgot. We lost Minus Mask, but we're scoring 142,000, so... We're in a good spot. Uh, delayed gratification doesn't really work due to burglar because it would give us zero dollars. Sorry, I put my hand over my mouth. It would give us zero dollars. Abstract Joker would be solid for just giving us some base mold if we had got it earlier, but we don't need it. Sorry, my allergies are just absolutely kicking my butt this season. So if I sound stuffy and sniffly, I apologize. Uh, not much I can do about it. Took my allergy medication. But, uh, yeah. Troubadour uh, would pair pretty well. We don't necessarily need Baron, but we're just going to keep it. We'll rip open an Arcana pack, because why not? But, yeah, nothing really needed. We'll go ahead and make this nine glass. Just so it, it's glass. Base cards are debuffed. See if we care. We're probably going to be scoring 100,000 with this hand. 150,000 that is so we're in such a good position that we probably could skip to the end I won't do that just so we played the good basics because in a high card build you probably don't want to be skipping too much because things like supernova we want to build it up and uh, the more hands you play the more it's able to be built up we'll just <laughs> a polychrome eight ball We'll just keep re-rolling to see if we can get something crazy valuable. Eh. Blue Joker wouldn't be bad, especially at this point, due to the large deck for some extra chips. But we don't need it. Um, the bell won't be a problem. We'll go right here. We'll play this ace. And uh, we should be totally fine. Again, 164000 some extra money. And yeah, all in all, I hope so far this video, as we kind of wrap it up, has demonstrated the power um, of the high card build. We'll go ahead and immolate for the extra money. I just want to make sure that driver's license couldn't accidentally go under 16. It wasn't really close. So we're all good there. Refresh a few times. Go ahead and play this. And yeah, we have a ton of money. We have a ton of points and we're heading into the boss line. Uh, Turtle Bean could be, you know, solid, but again, the Jokers we have are solid for what we need, uh, so there's not really a reason. We'll go ahead and Gold Seal that. Gold Seals add $3 to a card when it is scored, and that Spectral card is what is the card that can add Gold Seals. Nice amount of money. Oh no, it selected our Stone card, and oh yes, 
this game is over. So that was a high card build run. We got pretty lucky with our Joker setup, but at the end of the day, I hope this really demonstrated the power of the high card build, how to play it, what you can do with it. And I wish you luck in your runs. Go ahead and try a high card build if you are struggling, maybe on the black deck or at a slightly higher stake difficulty. We'll see you for the next one very soon.